The environmental discourse for the last uh, three, four decades has been based on making the world a better place for future generations. I think we need to focus on our generation. It's going to be too late if we start taking action for future generations. So Life Out of Plastic or Loop seeks to inspire consumers to have a more sustainable relationship with the marine ecosystems. In particular, we focus on the impact of plastic pollution on the oceans. And we do this through both commercial and social activities. So our commercial work is focused on demonstrating that you can have closed loop production cycles. We upcycle PET plastic bottle waste into our PET fiber, which we convert into textile and this textile, we make tote bags out of it. So we generate our revenue from the sale of these upcycled tote bags, and part of our revenue goes towards financing awareness campaigns. On a yearly basis, we mobilize over 10,000 people across Peru to take action on beach cleanups, educational activities, and through these, inspire consumers to be more sustainable. We're a women-led social enterprise. We're very proud of being a team of all girls. And in six years, Loop has achieved uh, interesting results. We've mobilized over 30,000 people throughout our campaigns. I've cycled over 25,000 plastic bottles through our value chain and uh, removed nearly 100 tons of marine debris from the Peruvian coastline. I loved it when SDG 12 was named uh, Responsible Consumption and Production because I think it portrays exactly the work that we do. Because what we need in order to achieve Sustainable to Goal 12 is a paradigm shift, not only at the consumer level, but also at the industry leader level and government policy level in order to promote this new systems way of looking at industry and consumption. We're very focused on strengthening our impact across, the, across Peru first and then across the region. So already we've been able to move out of Lima and for our national beach cleanup campaign, we mobilize youth across the whole country even uh, outside the coastal areas, up in the highlands and in the Amazon. And I think it's one of the most inspiring moments of the year when we receive these images from different youth groups that have organized themselves into volunteer groups and have gone out and cleaned up the natural environment. It could be a beach, it can be a lake, it can be a forest. And the impact that this has had on social media has actually led youth groups from across the region uh, to reach out to us and ask us to also participate in these campaigns. So we've had volunteer groups in Ecuador, in Mexico, in Chile, in Nicaragua. So we hope that these campaigns can keep on growing across the region in Latin America and why not the world eventually.